Brilliant. Still here at the Women of Leadership event run by ACG New York. We've just heard the opening keynote. Fabulous it was. And we have with us Angela Raitson of uh, First Republic. And Angela is no stranger to ACG. Nope, or the Women of Leadership Summit. Absolutely. But yeah. perhaps you would tell us a little bit about yourself, your role at First Republic, and uh, a little about, a bit about what you do with ACG as well. Sure. So um, I'm a Managing Director at First Republic Bank. I work with um, high net worth individuals who are trying to gain more confidence and more comfort with their financial planning. Uh, in terms of uh, ACG, I've been a, I'm a longtime member, former head of the Family Office Committee, currently head of programming, longtime board member. And you know, the reason why I come to the events is um, there is just such a tremendous amount of goodwill that women are wanting to give other women and work with other women. We all go to a lot of events. We're one of a few uh, females at the event, and it is wonderful to be here and find and make those connections with people who are in other industries that you may not be able to meet anywhere else. And you've got a, a very senior role at the bank. Yes. We have just heard a, a panel about building your personal brand. Sure. How how have you gone about doing that within the bank mm -hmm. to where you are now? How has it changed over mm -hmm. the years for you? Has the bank enabled that more so? Sure. Yeah, no, the bank definitely has. Uh, first Republic Bank is one of the first banks that had 50% female membership on its corporate board. Um, Catherine was our former president. Uh, she was an industry uh, leader. So the bank itself has a long history of really uh, promoting women. And then for me, I think there's a tandem that happens where you, you do a great job for a Clients, so you build confidence, so you do a great job and you build confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think that becomes, you know, your ability to work well with others, your ability to help grow talents, and also your ability within the industry to, to be open to expanding other people's networks. So one of the things that was talked about in the panel was knowing people who have a great network and who are willing to share that. And I think, again, that's one of the strengths of women of leadership. And within ACG is a lot of people are willing to open up their own network, help other people. Uh, and that's it, that's how you really uh, grow the pie for everybody, frankly. And I, I guess that's the preface for the event. So yeah. you are here. This is the seventh annual event of its yeah. guys. What do you hope to gain out of today? takeaways from today when you go back home or wherever it is? Yeah, no, listen, that's such a great question. And one of the other things that you and I've talked about before is the intention. When you go to the events, when you host events, mm -hmm. start with the end. The end is I would love to see people I already know because it's a great touch point for seeing people you already know. But then you always want to meet new people. Yeah. Uh, so I'm hosting a dinner after the event, a very small group. Um, and it's really just a touch point. I would never have the opportunity to be with these same women in another venue. And that's why this is so important. And it's, you know, you, you meet people you already know, you meet new people, you make those connections, but then it's follow through. Everything in life is about follow through. Do you keep in touch? Do you, do you reach out when they need you? Um, so th th this is a unique opportunity, I would say, within New York and within um, the U.S., frankly. Yes, in fact, we've got women from all over the U.S. That's that have right. come. Some That's right. internationally. That's Angela, right. Angela, thank you very, very My much. A big advocate for ACG and Absolutely. someone. Absolutely. Lovely words of advice and good trinkets yeah. there. Thank, Thank you very you. much. My pleasure.